WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff reports the operation could help him pace the sidelines for many years to come. I've been struggling a little bit with uh, one of my hips. His right hip to be exact. Coach Nick Saban made the announcement nine days ago after the A-Day game. This has been a little bothersome and I don't want to go into the fall with this being a problem. To fix the problem, Saban is undergoing hip replacement surgery today. I asked Dr. Mark Elkus, a prominent Birmingham surgeon not involved in the Saban case, to show us in 20 seconds what's involved. By removing the previous ball and placing uh, and removing the cartilage in the previous socket and placing a new socket in here and then a new ball attached to a metallic stem that goes down the canal like that and the two articulate like this. Elkin says every patient is different but the usually successful procedure eliminates pain and limping and restores a range of motion. Most patients after surgery are taking a few steps full weight bearing uh, within a couple hours of the operation itself. His health, of course, is Coach Saban's primary concern, but Alabama fans should take comfort in the other reason for the hip replacement. You know, I don't want to coach for one more year. I want to coach for a lot of more years. The hip bone could be connected to future years of success. In Birmingham, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.